Hey everyone, here's a question on HCF. The question is, what is a HCF of two consecutive odd numbers? So we have to find out the HCF of two consecutive odd numbers. So this odd numbers can be anything, uh, any number, but they should be consecutive. Now what do you mean by consecutive? Consecutive means a number which comes one after the other. For example, like 3, 4 are consecutive numbers, 3, 4, 5 are consecutive numbers, 3, 4, 5, 7 is not a consecutive number because 6 is missing here. So consecutive numbers means which comes one after the other. Now they are talking about two consecutive odd numbers. Odd numbers means suppose 5 is an odd number, the next odd number is 7. So 5 and 7 become two consecutive odd numbers. So here 6 is missing but 6 is an even number, we are not going to consider that. If they give you write down or like take a two consecutive numbers then we should take five six like that but they're talking about odd numbers so i'm talking i'm taking a odd numbers one which comes one after the other so after five the next odd number is seven right now we have to find out what will be the hcf of if it like uh, two consecutive odd numbers so this this can be like this is applicable for any odd number if i take what will be the hcf so for that i'm going to take a random example let us take uh, numbers like 11 11 is a one odd number and 13 is another odd number right after 11 the 13 is the next odd number right so we have to find out the hcf i'm going to express them in a prime factors each number in a prime factors i'm going to express them in a terms of prime factors so 11 will be equal to 1 into 11 yes and 13 will be equal to 1 into 13 so you can see that there's only one factor which is present in both and that is 1 apart from 1 there's a no other common factor which is in present so hcf of this two number will become 1 okay so therefore hcf here of 11 and 13 is equal to 1 so let us take some other example here now i'm going to take a bigger numbers let us take a 21 and a 23 right so 21 can be written as this is equal to 3 7 are 21 yes and 23 can be written as uh, 1 into 23 23 is a prime number so it's 1 into 23 so here uh, let me rewrite this 3 into 7 as 1 into 3 into 7 now why i'm writing 1 here because 1 is a factor of every number we don't just write down but here to find out the hcf uh, because i'm talking about the odd numbers i'm writing out writing here 1 so here if you see that we have only one common factor that is one apart from one there is no other common factor so highest common factor will become hcf of these two numbers will become one so hcf is here again one now let us take other numbers uh, let me take here a number like uh, i'm going to take a bigger number 50 not 50 let me take 30 31 and 33 Again, 31 is a prime number, so 31 can be written as a 1 into 31, okay? And 33 is a, again, an odd number, but it's a composite number, so it can be written as 1 into 3 into 11, okay? Now, you can see here, again, we have only one common factor, which is 1. Apart from 1, there's a no other common factor present. So, HCF of this two number will become 1 again. So, like that, if you take any prime, uh, not prime number, I'm sorry, if you take any two consecutive odd number the highest common factor is always one so it could be any big number or three digit number or two digit number if you can take even a one digit number if i take a number like five and seven both five and seven are prime numbers right five can be written as a one into five and seven can be written as seven into one the common factor is again one if you take a number like 9 and 11, again 9 can be written as 9 is equal to 3 into 3, but 11 can be written as 1 into 11. So let me write down as 3 into 3 into 1. So 1 is again a common factor. So HF of 9 and 11 is again a 1. So highest common factor of any two consecutive odd number is always 1. Remember this. This can confirm 1 mark or 2 mark type of question. If it comes for 2 marks, you have to take a random examples and just show that HF is always equal to 1. I hope this question is clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.